So now, uh, we'll sum up all that we have been discussing uh, in last six days, seven days now. <coughs> that shift from EHV 1 to EHV 2 and from EHV 2 to EHV 3, right? In EHV 1 or before EHV 1, we all thought that human being is body. If not all, most of us, I would say. Why say all? You know, then this, this. Through EHP 1 and EHP 2, we are able to see that we are not just the body, but coexistence of the self and the body. Right. Now, if you look at EHP 3, the major shift is that now we are able to see that human being is coexistence of the self and the body, but it is the self which is playing the central role, right? The body is just used as an instrument, okay? The body is used as an instrument, as and when required, as and when required. So, one important conclusion is that human being is coexistence of self and body and it is the self which is central to human existence. The happiness, unhappiness of human being has to do with the self, right? So this was one major observation, that when you talk about the human desire, which is continuous happiness, it is basically the need of the self. Is it clear whether it is the need of the self or need of the body? Need of the self. Clear to everyone? Yes. This continuous happiness is ensured by right understanding, right feeling and right thought. Or this is what is called resolution. So right understanding and resolution in the self. So, continuous happiness is ensured by right understanding, by right feeling, right thought. And where is this right understanding going to take place? In the self. Right feeling and right thought? In the self. So, the need of the human being is basically the need of the self. And it is fulfilled by activities of the self. Right? The body hardly has any role to play here. Can you see this? So as far as your need for continuous happiness is concerned, it is the need of the self and it is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought, which is the activity of the self. So need of the self is fulfilled by the activities of the self. So all this is a matter of the consciousness, right? The body is used as an instrument as and when you know, required. So this is the major shift, you know, that has to take place through USB 3. 
before ESP1, it was all body, right? Then self and body. Now the major role is that of the self. Body is being used as an instrument. And what is your finding? How oftenly you interact with the body? This you have to start observing. I keep telling less than 1% but don't believe it. Because you have to experience it for yourself. That most of the time or probably all the time you are busy with the self. Sometime when you feel necessary, you interact with the body. So many sensations are taking place in the body, isn't it? Full of sensation. Are you reading all those sensations? You read some of the sensations. Are you reading that sensation all the time? No. So you are reading some sensation sometime. And when do you read it? When you consider it important. Right? When you consider it important, you read some sensation. When you consider it important, you give some instruction to the body. Right? So if you think that you will get happiness by eating sweet, right? Then you instruct the body to walk to the sweet shop, take out money, pay money, right? Take the sweet, put it in the mouth, right? So whatever instruction you are giving, the body follows that instruction. And when the sweet comes in contact with the tongue, there is some sensation, right? And you read that sensation, and if that sensation is as per your expectation, you feel happy. If it is not as per your expectation, <coughs> you feel unhappy. Right? So that is one thing. <coughs> that it is self which is playing the central role. <coughs> then in order to have this continuity of happiness, I have to have the right understanding and I have to have the resolution and this resolution calls for clarity of all this 3.1 to 3.9 right and we were trying to look into all this 3.1 to 3.9 starting with right understanding and then going to wisdom and science and all those things right all these are basically trying to see what self has to have in order to ensure continuity of happiness so it has to have the right understanding and it has to have this resolution and this resolution you can see ranges from right understanding to human tradition 3.1 to 3.9. This is all because for the need of the self. Who is needing this resolution? Self or body? Self. self. Yes. If you look at the details of the resolution, this part 1, 2, 3, 3.1 to 3.2, 3.3 is going to take place in the self. That is what you call as talent. This will be expressed at the level of self and body. So that is your personality. And this is what is going to happen outside at the level of society. But clarity of all this is in the self. When you realize it, they will happen at different level, but clarity of it is all at the level of self. Okay? So this is the essential point that we wanted to make. The self is central to human existence. Body is used as an instrument. The need of the self is continuous happiness, which is fulfilled by understanding coexistence, the knowledge, and feeling and thought of coexistence, that is resolution. This is naturally expressed in the form of mutually fulfilling behavior with human being, mutually enriching work with rest of nature and participation in the larger order leading to undivided society and universal human order. 
this is the natural expression, right? So this self, whenever it expresses itself through the body, this will be the form. But the core thing is the need of the self and the activity of the self, which is ensuring the fulfillment of the need of the self. Is this clear to all of you? This was one important point we were making. This was the essence of what we were trying to say all these days. How many of you are able to see this now? Or at least get a feel of this now? Okay. How many of you do not get any feel of what we are trying to say that it is self which is central to human existence? and the body is just used as an instrument. Okay, so this is one sense which we wanted to draw your attention towards. It will certainly take time for you to really, you know, see that this is the way it is, you know, because then you have to really see every moment yourself, your body, your interaction with the body, right, with the world outside. <clears throat> development in the self is ensured through regulation based on right understanding, right understanding of <clears throat> that is through the process of this awakening to this contemplation, understanding and regulation. This development can be viewed as unfolding of higher activities of the self as shown in the next few slides. <clears throat> All this we have been talking about understanding includes all these three things, knowledge of human being, existence and the human conduct. Understanding of human being reveals that the self-development can be viewed as unfolding of the higher activities of the self as shown in the next few slides. So this we have already talked about, right? Mostly we are operating here. If you look at the animals, they are operating at the level of selecting and testing. Large number of human beings also, you know, kind of are focused to this selecting and testing. At the most, majority of us are operating at the level of imagination, right? Trying to get happiness through sensation or through favorable feelings. And I was mentioning that if you look at this civilization, so-called modern civilization, it is busy with this much only, right? Trying to get favorable sensation and favorable feeling in order to get happiness. So all your science, your technology, your engineering, right? Management is focused around that. If you can start looking at your, you know, purpose, your participation, then you are awakening to this contemplation and then understanding and then finally the realization. And if you have reached to realization and from there you are able to ensure the right understanding, the completion of right understanding and the contemplation. And then under the guidance of that, if your imagination is working, you are operating at the level of human consciousness. Right. So this transition has to take place at the level of self, right? This transition has to take place at the level of self. So self-development is essentially the, you know, when you talk about development of human being, it has to do with the development of the self, right? This is where you are, when you are operating only at the level of imagination, right? At the level of behavior, sometimes happiness, mostly unhappiness. At the level of work, sometimes you feel prosperity, mostly you feel deprived. Your participation in the larger order, sometimes contributing to the order, mostly passive or leading to disorder, right? That is the situation that you can see all around, isn't it? All your complaints have to do with this.
things will improve as you go on, right? Ultimately, when it is complete, your behavior is leading to continuous happiness, your work is leading to prosperity always, and your participation is always contributing to the human order. So this is where we want to reach ultimately. And this will be the picture of the human conduct with right understanding and with resolution. And the major development is here at the level of self. These are the natural outcomes. So if that happens, now you can see the total content of USB 3 which is basically talking about the resolution in the self, right? 3.1 is the right understanding which includes this whole block B1. 3.2 wisdom is this clarity about the purpose, about the participation. 3.3 is the imagination based on this right understanding that is science. Then you have behavior, work, participation in the larger order, ultimately leading to undivided society and universal human order and human tradition. And with all this, the goal of continuous happiness is ensured. So this is about the self, the development of the self. So one important conclusion was that self is central to human existence. Look at the human being. If you look at the existence, the other important conclusion is that existence is in the form of coexistence. Therefore, it is coexistence which is central to the existence. So if you look at the existence, right, it is coexistence which is central to existence, which essentially means that a coexistence is ever present in all time, in all space. In coexistence in space, every unit is energized, active, self-organized, recognizes its relationship with other unit and fulfills it. So if you look at this coexistence, you see that in coexistence or by way of coexistence, every unit is in coexistence in space, number one, is harmony in space, is in relationship in space. So all these three things, coexistence, harmony in, and relationship can be seen in every unit out of this coexistence. So this coexistence is ever present. Coexistence is ever effective. Effective in this sense, wherever you see, in whichever unit, smaller or bigger, right, it is there by way of coexistence. The principle of coexistence is working. Okay. If you look at between look at it between two human beings, the principle of coexistence is working. If you look at it between the self and the body, the principle of coexistence is working. If you look at it between earth and the sun, the principle of coexistence is working. So this principle of coexistence is ever effective, right? And this coexistence is expressing itself, you know, starting from the subtle most activity to the gross most activity, right? All these four orders that you see in nature, you know, with so much of variety, is ultimately the expression of this coexistence, expression of the coexistence which is basically unit submerged in space, activity submerged in no activity. So that coexistence is expressing itself, you know, in terms of this so much variety of nature, you know, such a magnificence of nature. So th those details you can see, you know, we have already talked about. 
this diagram again was explaining that this coexistence is expressing expressing itself in terms of interaction, pulsation, sensitivity, knowability, and finally the knowledge. And this expresses in terms of innateness, natural activity, you know, natural characteristic, and also the inheritance. So basically, it is the coexistence which is expressing itself in all these different forms. So what is the essence of existence is coexistence. Right? That's another conclusion. <coughs> so the important conclusion is that we have been that we have been able to draw through our investigation till now is human being is coexistence of self and body. Self is central to human existence, body is used as an instrument, need of the self, continuous happiness is fulfilled by this, right understanding and right feeling and right thought in the self. The second set of it is that existence is coexistence, which is in the form of unit submerged in space. Coexistence is ever present, ever effective and ever expressive. All that we need to, need to see in nature as what, uh, all that we see in nature as four orders is expression of coexistence. Existence can be understood by awakening to the activities of self, both lower and the higher put together. On the basis of this conclusion, we can define the role of human being in existence. Right? So if I can understand this human being and the existence, then I can define the role of human being in this existence. <coughs> so in a sense, Self is central to human existence, coexistence is central to existence. Therefore, human being has to understand, has to ensure understanding co of coexistence and feeling and, th and thought of coexistence at the level of self. At the level of self and body, this will be expressed outside in terms of living in coexistence. So, if you look at the total program of human being, it can be summed up as understanding the coexistence, feeling and thought of coexistence, and living in coexistence. Right? This is how it is detailed out. To understand the coexistence, to ensure the feeling and thought of coexistence, to live in coexistence with human being, from family to world family, and to live in coexistence from family order to world family order. So, role of human being in this existence is to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence. To make it more expressive, we can say coexistence, harmony and relationship in place of coexistence. Because coexistence is expressing in terms of harmony and relationship. So all three can be made, you uh, know, uh, mentioned to make it more explicit. So the role of human being in this existence is to understand the coexistence, harmony and relationship and to live in coexistence, harmony and relationship. And of course, now you can recall that this is what we have been working on and two, and we are preparing the ground for Exercise 3. Exercise 3 we have not yet started but we are preparing ourselves you know to work with exercise 3 where I can see the space directly and my coexistence in space directly. So that is yet to be worked on. Okay. But exercise 1 and 2 we are able to see this self in depth and then see this interaction of the self with the body and the world outside. So this is it, the human conduct. Now you can all understand what is the meaning of each of these words here. And this. And with all this we are back there, if you remember, right? Yes. This is the yardstick for you to find out where you are. What is the center of your being? Right? If you look at this, Ultimately, I have to be at the level of pure observer. 
that becomes the center of my being. From there, I can realize the coexistence, the harmony, the relationship, right? And from there, I can guide my preconditionings, my assumptions, my imagination. And if I do that, all this will start falling in place. Right? Then I can also guide my behavior, my work, right? Outside. I can guide my feeling, I can guide my sensation, I can guide my body, you know. I can identify the need of physical facility, ensure the production of physical facility. That becomes the center of my living, the pure observer. What do you feel? What is the center of your being? You will take care of all this, no? From one to six. But where are you centered? What you are thinking most of the time? Your focus is on what? So this will tell you how you have, you know, how much development of the self has taken place. Right? Isn't it? So ultimately, I have to be at the level of pure observer, that is 2A. From that pure observer, I am looking up to this coexistence, to the space. Right? I am comfortable there in a state of pure bliss. From there, you are looking down at the level of your sanskar, evaluating it, purifying it, then looking down at the level of your imagination, evaluating it, you know, purifying it. As far as you are concerned, you are centered at this pure observer and you are comfortable with yourself. No disturbance. Nothing is affecting you from outside. So you are at the level of pure observer, you are able to experience, to realize this space and the coexistence in space. You are able to see that all the need of the pure observer is fulfilled in space, in coexistence in space. Therefore, you are fulfilled there. You are in a state of continuous happiness. From there, you are looking down to your sanskar, your assumptions, your preconditioning, you are evaluating them, looking down to your imagination, you know, evaluating them, particularly the feeling in your assumption, you are evaluating it. And if you keep doing that, these things will also, you know, slowly get purified. So, slowly everything, you know, all your activities of the self, under the guidance of pure observer will be in line with coexistence, harmony and relationship. That is what is the state of the human conduct, you know. Yes. So you have to keep finding out where you are, where you are centered. What is the level of your being? As long as you are in this range, you are in trouble. If you enter into this range, there is some development taking place in yourself. If you reach to 2A with, you know, looking at 1, then you are safe and sound, comfortable. Ji. In existence. So whatever is there all around, that all you have to investigate now. Okay. That is the whole range of full self-reflection. Observe all your important decisions and try to find out the activity of the self which is primarily responsible for these decisions. From this observation, we can rightly evaluate our current status of the self. 
and see what are the efforts you are making to rise to higher activities of the self. All this you can see. Investigate whether you are able to observe the existence in all four orders or not. Also extend this to realize the realize to realization of coexistence in space. Human conduct is a reflection of our inner self to outer world. Are we able to keep this in mind while working outside? So when I'm working outside, am I able to see that what I'm doing outside is a reflection of my inner self? That means, am I aware of the self every moment? With that awareness, whenever I'm interacting outside, can I see that whatever is decided inside within myself is what is appearing outside? So that awareness of the self and its status, is it there all the time when you are interacting with the world outside? Yeah, now we can come back. Don't buy a pre ah, yes, here. So I could see myself that I am fluctuating from 6 to 2 A. So in that case, how to decide what is my center of being? Yes, even I am reaching 2 A, I am having that glimpses. But how to come to a conclusion where I am actually, my center of being? Yeah, so now if we are fluctuating from 6 to 2 A, the next question you have to ask, where are you there most of the time? Right, that's the next question you have to ask. That most of the time you are at the level of pure observer or you are at the level of sanskar, preconditioning or at the level of imagination or at the level of sensation or at the level of body or at the level of physical facility. In fact, one of the way could be that what are you thinking of most of the time? What is your imagination working with? Is it working with pure observer or working with sanskar or working with itself or working with sensation, right? Or working with body. I mean, you see people, they keep thinking of what to eat, right? Where to see, what to see, right? Now, this is all with the world outside, isn't it? Yes. What to cook, how to cook, right? Yeah, so most of the time we are thinking of this, this or this, or this feeling from the other. Isn't it? He did not pay attention to me. He did not say hello, right? He did not wish me, yes. And interesting thing is, that you are thinking of the other, the other is thinking of you. None of you are thinking of yourself. <laughs> eh? <laughs> so I want to get right feelings from you, you want to get right feeling from me, but I am not working on ensuring right feeling in myself. I am not working on ensuring right understanding in myself. Then where will it come from? I am begging from you, you are begging from me. Both are beggars. Both are beggars, right? <laughs> and the bavel is empty, right? Now, with right understanding and right feeling, if you are working at the level of 2A and then 2B and 2C, you will become the giver, you know, you will have the right understanding, you will have the right feeling and you can give it to anyone and everyone, right? And your happiness is ensured within, so you are not begging for feeling from others. So now you have become a giver, right? 
Previously, you were begging from someone who was the beggar. Now you can give because you have this right feeling in you. And you don't depend, your happiness does not depend upon getting feeling from the other. So you are no more the beggar. Yes. This is it. I think I can move to the next sum up and complete. All this is same, same, right? <coughs> if you look at this ESB3, <coughs> this is what we have been trying to work on this course, you know, ESB3. Understanding what to do, what to do through lectures 1 to 28 and practice how to do through practice session 1 to 14. Now we can recall that this is what we have been working on through this X1, exercise 1 and 2 and so on. What we have focused on is lecture 1 to 28. This exercise, sorry, the practice session 1 to 14 is basically this exercise 1 to 1 and 2, 7 steps of exercise 1 and 7 steps of exercise 2. So we have not gone into too much of detail of this exercise 1 and exercise 2, but we have uh, brought your, you know, kind of attention to it, did some exercise, okay, and we hope that you uh, are able to see what you have to do in exercise 1, step 1 to 7 and exercise 2, step 1 to 7. But as I was, you know, uh, mentioning that it is better if you can attend that morning session that is going on. This goes every 4 months, right, exercise 1, exercise 2 with necessary, you know, kind of uh, background. And every morning, if you are reminded of it, right, the whole day this process can go on, right. So that way is quite effective. I think very large number of you have already attended. How many of you have not attended? Let's see. Okay. Morning session. Ah, six, seven, seven. Ah, if you have joined, fine. Okay. So around. 10, 15 people, okay, not very bad, out of 70 people, but if you can find it convenient, you can join it because morning session in English is from 5.30 to 6.30 and English Hindi is from 6.30 to 7.30. Eh? Yeah, it Achha, you, huh? Yeah, uh, she was also uh, suggesting that, so we tried to explore the possibility. Presently, it seems to be difficult, but we will see. How many of you uh, will have problem, I mean, convenience if the time is shifted to 6.30 to 7.30? English, English session. <laughs> let let me ask how how many of you will have trouble if it is shifted from 5:30 to 6:30 that english session equal weight vo equal voting so no change <laughs> 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 be done about it. So with all this background <coughs> and all this shift in our understanding, 
of the human being and the existence you know so two major shift as far as human being is concerned self is central to human existence body is used as an instrument as far as existence is concerned coexistence is central to existence and that coexistence can be seen as coexistence harmony and relationship right so these are the two major shift that we have in our perception if we go through this vhb3 and with that again the program of action will remain the same right what we have already discussed in vhb2 so this self exploration self awareness self evaluation all these things i'm not going to explain you have already gone through it in vhb2 but now you can understand them better you know now it will become more explicit right same thing now you understand better and you are able to do better than what you are able to do in ehb1 and then after ehb2 so this shift has to take place from here to here and i know and now you know what is the shift with the purpose of self evolution awakening to the contemplation understanding and realization leading to the purification of sanskar right and this sanskar if you see this sanskar depends upon what is your sanskar or the sanskar at the next moment will depend upon the sanskar that you have now the environment that you are getting and the self exploration that you are making right all this put together will lead to the next sanskar right sanskar at the next moment बताइए नेक्स्ट ठीक है ना भी रहने देते हैं थ्रू दी सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट थ्रू द प्रैक्टिस सेशन दैट यू ऑल नो राइट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट इन द थ्री फोर सेशंस एंड यू हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑन इट so developing understanding and purification of the accumulated feelings and thoughts all this fine i am not going to go into the details now if you look at this exercise 1 in essence what we are doing is we are working to achieve a state of the self where i am with awareness of all activities of the self particularly my imagination the feeling to begin with every moment with no reaction three things so i am aware every moment okay i am aware of the imagination i am aware of the feeling with no reaction and with equanimity i am observing and verifying that feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable and not otherwise i am observing and underst- understanding the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence through contemplation understanding and realization i am ensuring that all my desire thought and expectations are in line with relationship harmony and coexistence at this moment and ultimately every moment this ensures harmony happiness at this moment and ultimately every moment all this put together ensures that i am in a state of continuous happiness in the self so that is the purpose of exercise 1 right exercise 2 the purpose of exercise 2 is to ensure that my interaction with the world outside is mutually fulfilling whether it is my interaction with the body my you know or my interaction with other human beings or interaction with anything in the nature right so exercise 1 is ensuring 
a state of continuous happiness in oneself. Exercise two is ensuring right fulfillment, right, with the world outside, including the body. So body, the other human being, and the rest of nature. Yeah. So this is all there is put together. Important also. Try practicing it every moment. So step one, if you put together, it means I am at the level of observer. Then I am observing my imagination, particularly my feeling. And I am not reacting to it. This is exercise one, step one. Then I can go about evaluating this feeling whether it is natural, unnatural, whether it is leading to happiness, unhappiness. This I can do every moment and if I do this every moment, I can keep purifying my imagination, my sanskar and thereby I can always be in harmony within and happiness within. Practice step 7 of exercise 2. It is the entry point for exercise 3 to experience coexistence in the existence. This is for your future preparation to work with exercise 3. We have to keep working with step 7 of exercise 2 and that step 7 says that I, the self is in space, the body is in space and through space I am transacting information with the body. So if I have to put the whole thing in one line, I should be able to see that I, human being, is coexistence of self and body. It is the self which is central to my existence as human being. I am using the body as an instrument. This whole existence is by way of coexistence. And therefore, all that I need to do is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence. Right? That's the essence of all that we have been talking about. Very simple. So, I have from my side summed up the whole thing. Now I can keep it open for the questions. Bhaiya. Yes. Nancy. Um, crafts which control the self of uh, others. Yeah, this is interesting, you know. You can't control the self of yourself. <laughs> how? So that then how, how that, it is being uh, that, done, Bhaiya? This is what I am saying. This is my opinion about it. Okay. No. Not able to ensure this state of continuous happiness within themselves by right understanding and right feeling, right? They are trying to get happiness by way of controlling the world around, whether it is material or consciousness, right? And in the process, they learn different techniques. Okay. Techniques of how to control the material things and how to control the consciousness. So they are not learning to be in harmony, but they are trying to learn how to control. Right? Because they think that by controlling, they can make these units work according to their expectation and when they are made to work according to their expectation, probably they will get their expectation fulfilled, right? But then it does not work because 
this getting expectation fulfilled cannot lead to continuity of happiness so you always remain in trouble yourself and you put other people also in trouble therefore we are saying the simple thing to do is to have right understanding and right feeling right be in a state of harmony within and a state of happiness within then you don't have to get into this kind of thing where you are putting yourself in trouble you are putting the other self in trouble right bhai i have one doubt bhai yeah. last row like yesterday was asking whether is it possible to reach the bliss or something bliss condition bliss condition but now from like i was thinking by yesterday itself i found that i couldn't find that but when i am thinking that proposal to proposal where i am is changing actually for one proposal of course i am reaching the bliss in one like uh, other proposal i am in uh, 3a 3b one proposal i am in uh, 2a to i am reaching that condition so i got a confident that yes it is possible in other proposals also if i am putting together for a day uh, two proposal i am in a bottom means other proposal i am at upside so is it possible by practicing this way i can make it in other, every proposals also no bhaiya yeah. ah okay this existence is not biased for any particular person okay whatever is possible what is whatever is desirable is made available to everyone we are not making the right choice i am seeing like not as a person uh, uh, towards my uh, interest on the different activities what i am doing not with reference to the person to the proposals in terms of an uh, work or family towards my uh, like that Okay. Okay. Thank you, Maya. See, the interesting thing is that all these possibilities are open to all of us, but then we have to work through, right? And all those who have realized it have realized because they have worked through. Certainly, if we can bring it into the mainstream education. you know or in the process of education in the family in the society and also in the schools and colleges probably this will become easier you know become faster you know and every one of us could realize it in a period of some let's say 20 years of our life you know 20 25 years so it is possible for all of us okay but certainly we have to number one work hard for it number two create the conducive environment right if we can create the conducive environment it will facilitate others right like some environment has been you know created here and it is making it possible for so many of us to go through the process right otherwise we would not have been known about it okay so that conducive environment is very uh, welcoming and ultimately it should be made part of the education and sanskar you know everywhere at home in the schools in the colleges in the whole society and today if we try really you know working on it it's so much easy to do it you know i mean you are so well connected okay now your youtube every time you know is keeping you busy but with no you know clarity of purpose right if you can connect to right kind of things okay it can be so fast to take it to the people or it will be so easy for you to get this you know right proposal and you know keep working on it yeah now that we come we have come to know about it and we are working on it you know we can think in terms of how we can make it available to everybody you know how we can create this kind of environment everywhere 
ganesh bhai every human being is having this natural acceptance and uh, some portion of imagination is guided by natural acceptance and if the other things that i already know this so then how to uh, approach them or help them there is so much uh, other things to be known <coughs> I mean, when it comes to approaching the other, number one, I should start working on myself. If I have this, you know, clarity that every one of us, including myself, has my natural acceptance. Okay, and some part of my imagination is guided by it. Some part of it is not guided by it. So I start working on this. That every moment I am observing my, you know, imagination, observing my feeling, evaluating my feeling. thereby ensuring that every moment my feeling is as per the natural acceptance and not otherwise this is first thing i have to do second thing is when i have this feeling which is natural and if i behave with the other with that natural feeling in regard of how the other is behaving then he will feel comfortable with my right behavior right it is this right behavior of mine which appeals to the other with that right behavior he feels comfortable with me and when he feels comfortable with me he would like to share with me okay that is important when he is willing to share with me then i can share whatever you know i have understood right whatever i am practicing i can share so if i go with the right behavior people will be willing to listen to me they would like to share with me so let it come it that way it may take time initially but if it goes this way it is very comforting for the other and after some time it goes very fast it goes very fast is skill uh, part of personality eh? is the skill part of personality i will not say that it is you know in one way of course i must be able to express myself that much of skill is required but other than that what is important is your feeling then the skill in fact many of these great people you know if you look at their history many of them were not very expressive man of very few words right but they have been able to convey you know so many people were you know uh, in kind of influenced by them you know. they will hardly speak few words but that level of understanding that level of feeling was such that whatever they expressed you know people could make sense of it you know and they could kind of get benefited by it so that is what is important you know ensuring that right feeling right thought i mean the right understanding and the right feeling and thereby the right behavior if you have a skill you can do better you know but this is basically the matter of understanding and feeling then just the skill thank you ramana mr rishi it used to speak in silence itself the other person will not ask the question but after sitting with him for 10 to 15 minutes he will get to know the answer by himself yeah because ultimately it is the communication between one self and the other self So if you can do it directly, fine. If you cannot do it, use words, right? Do through body. But important thing is to have that feeling. If you do not have the feeling, and you have lot of words, lot of skill, it is not going to work. That is what we do in the name of personality development these days. You know, you do not have the right understanding, you do not have the right feeling, and you now want to use right words. 
body language and your get up and things like that bhaiya i want to know what does that notation f denote uh, in the previous slide which one uh, undivided uh, society it is f it is letter has bold yeah final state initial denotes i, I is I the initial is state that is i start with realization of coexistence and the final stage is expression in terms of universal human order that is the final point where i have to reach that i doesn't denote the self no i denotes the initial starting point so initial point is realization of coexistence final point is living in universal human order right so initial to final from one end to the other end here yeah, one more question bhaiya uh, can you please let me know what does this thinking and imagination how does this differ imagination has three parts desire thought and expectation when you say thinking it has to do with that thought part so imagination is bigger set than the thinking the thought at the base of the thought there is some feeling and whatever you have thought now you want to do when you do something outside you decide what to do that what particular thing to do is the expectation so for example if i have the feeling of you know care for the someone okay then i start thinking how to take care of the other for example the mother is having the feeling of care for the child so that feeling is there then on the basis of that feeling you are thinking of how to nurture the body of the child right so i must feed him or her you know healthy food food which nurtures the body you know protects the body and all those details i will think once i have thought over that then i make the decision what to cook now, you know today for the breakfast right that is selection expectation when you say imagination all this is put together when you say thought it means how to take care of the body of my child that is thought but beyond that at the background of that is the feeling at the further this thing is the expectation all this put together is imagination you can see that you know anywhere yeah if you look at this whole thing is imagination this analyzing and comparing is the thought thinking ha eh? yeah thinking is what you are doing now whatever you have been doing you know all this thinking put together is the thought sir <coughs> Uh, sir uh, uh, yes <laughs> sir uh, one one particular feeling that i got while uh, coming from um, calcutta to chennai this time uh, just uh, as i came from the airport to this city and this part of this city i found that most of the things are known to me now in this bodily journey i have never visited this place this is a new place to me and this time i found that so many things i know and even the corner plot of this thing would be appearing this way and i found that it is just like that 
and the people what uh, i have been uh, doing you know my co explorers i also shared that with few co explorers over here that whenever i see you no know, these people are very new maybe online we have met but i have already got one sort of insinuation inside that these people would be like this and i have got not exact very similar match even in their uh, physical appearance other than the self so said so this is uh, another thing you know just uh, six up to seven months uh, ago i visited faridabad that was also a new place to me but few things i i could to- tell people that this is the way if we go it would be a shortcut way to that so i don't know said that some these things are happening to me right now yes yeah what do you say good such things are possible that's all i can say now with this background lot of possibilities will open up okay ultimately to sum up what we are saying is that we can live we human being can live like a human being by having the human consciousness and the human conduct and we can work for a human society in which such possibility will open up for every human being right so i have to work for human consciousness with human consciousness i have to live with human conduct then i have to work for the human society in which such possibility opens up for everyone right so this is the essence of all that we are trying to say right how do you feel about this is it making sense yes if it is making sense then lot of commitments you know commitment to live to develop that human consciousness in myself commitment to live with human conduct commitment to work for a human society these three things <coughs> what do you think are you willing to go for it yes yes if yes then we make a plan for it right each one of us will have to make a plan right uh fortunately uh uh there is lot of uh, kind of enthusiasm at the level of this uh, institution srm i see lot of enthusiasm at the level of uh, the state of tamil nadu and now lot of enthusiasm at the level of the whole country okay so fortunately we have representation from srm a fairly big representation from uh, the southern uh, region that is state of tamil nadu and pondicherry right is a part of it yes and we have representation from karnatak and andhra pradesh and telangana and maharashtra and kerala of course and from uh, odisha and bengal and of course uttar pradesh yeah so so many places so you work out your plan for ensuring human consciousness human conduct and working for human society so with that i uh, will conclude thank you very much for uh, so much of you know involvement with which you have uh, been through all these seven days this is fine this is fine <laughs> Thank you.
So, but I will. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes, okay, yes. very good. So we all are ready. Yes. We all can keep working on development of ourselves. We all can keep working on development of our feelings with our family members, society. We all can develop our feelings with the nature. We all can keep taking efforts for our mm. realization within, understanding this harmony, contemplation. For that, some commitments are essentially required. So tomorrow is the day. We would like to listen from each one of you. These are the pointers given. So be mindful about the timing. <laughs> See, on the day one, what we thought that we will get introduced to each other in that post-lunch session. And that what we thought that two minutes will be enough for one person. So one hour, 30, 30 people, second day, 30 people, third day, 30 people, and all that introduction would be finished. But I guess as good as 25 people are yet to introduce. <laughs> and the first point here is the brief introduction. <laughs> so, you know, we can be very brief. We can be very, very brief introducing just one line introduction, name, department, and the place, right? Name, department, and the place. Number two, the exploration. Throughout these past seven days, uh, we have been listening to the proposals. So what exploration I was able to do during these past seven days? <coughs> exploration about submergence, right? About understanding of innateness contemplation of relationship. I tell you, like, if someone says that in the past seven days I was able to explore that the existence is in the form of coexistence, I don't understand anything from that. I mean, really, that is not an ex exploration. I would say it's just sharing the concepts. So exploration doesn't mean that sharing the concept. Exploration which means there was a proposal based on existence in the form of coexistence. How have I related this proposal with the whole existence from my D1 block? Because this cannot happen with my imagination things, right? And what are the clarity I got after that, right? What was the confusion I had before? And with this clarity, how my vision is getting developed and that vision would reflect in on my living now and there is possibility that at the level of this higher exploration I was able to experience something and that got translated into my living okay so that is basically the whole exploration exploration the process is important the first my confusion then I had gone through this process, this is the result and it is coming into my at least level of imagination. So that's point number two. Point number three, shift on the basis of comparison, basis of testing, uh, preferably with the real life example. So those two things, you know, what we have discussed, uh, the basis of testing, you remember? Yes. So is there any shift is taking place and is it reflecting into life? So those sort of real uh, example. Point number four is the future plan and commitment. So specific plan for the self development. And when we say specific, the plan has to be very, very specific. Right. So what I'm going to do for my self development. One, two, three, for example, attending morning sessions regularly. Right? So this is a plan. It's not that I will work on this self-development, but that specific plan. Number two, my role in human education. <coughs> because this education is the key. Right? That is our Anushangita. In... Kya kata Anushangita ko? Shabda nikil gaya. 
इनहेरिटेंस राइट दैट इज द इनहेरिटेंस और डेवलपमेंट इज बेस्ट ऑन द एजुकेशन तो व्हाट इज माय रोल इन ह्यूमन एजुकेशन ओके एंड अगेन वेरी स्पेसिफिक रोल मे बी आई एम प्लानिंग टू पार्टिसिपेट इन ह्यूमन एजुकेशन इन माय फैमिली राइट सो टेकिंग दिस ह्यूमन एजुकेशन टू माय फैमिली विच मीन्स आई एम इंटरेक्टिंग एनी वे थ्री the life before uhv3 and the life after uhv3 is it going to change it's a same house the same people the same institution right the same world around us what will change is only our perspectives so with the new perspective how i will interact with my children so that's kind of an example of my role in human education my role in human education is my participation into sip program uhv2 if i'm teaching uhv2 then what i'm going to do to make my teachings more effective by ensuring the process of exploration so i'm just giving you hints and clue and the third commitment for participation participation into the larger order so these are the four points the maximum time is given is 5 to 7 minutes to each uh the same slide will be shared on the group also so that you can prepare today evening tomorrow tonight and then tomorrow uh, we would like to listen from each one of you uh we are coming towards the end of this uh, workshop um tomorrow is the self evaluation session for the past 7 uh, days we have been listening to sir uh day before yesterday rajul bhaiya has just uh, remembered that one incidents that human education and the efforts of human being for their realization has happened many times in the past right and there is a deep gratitude towards each one of those who reached to this state of realization not only they have understood but they also helped us in our understanding process so that similar process has continued it has been many years ago in a cowshed kanpur cowshed two small lights and sir has conducted his first workshop for the past 7 days <coughs> sir tried to help us in understanding our in developing our understanding for us the timing is from 8:32 5:30 but for sir his continuous interaction starts with like 5 o'clock in the morning i mean that is what i saw i don't know before 5 o'clock so i see sir many times interacting starts his interactions at 5 5:30 in the morning and i saw he was interacting with us till 11 o'clock in the night continuously okay so sir on my behalf on the behalf of everybody we express a deep feeling of gratitude towards you thank you for helping each one of us in our journey and uh, we would also like to commit you that we will also help other in their journey so one is holding the hands of the other others can hold the hands of the others uh Rajul Bhaiya is there. All this PowerPoint presentation, which is making this education so easy, to bring this content in education in academic form, whole lot of efforts has been taken by Rajul Bhaiya. Right? This is a big gift of Rajul Bhaiya. All of our documentation of uni of UHV team, right? uh we are making lots of dashboards so many computerization digitalization uh making slides making book making sure that every single word and the sentence which is written in any of the document which is going through uhv team uh there should not be any sort of assumptions there should not be any sort of confusion so constantly look and then you know he is the one like whenever i was in need of any sort of document and if i ask rajul bhaiya 
दो मेनी टाइम्स ही हैज शेयर द लिंक टू मी राइट ही हैज शेयर द लिंक टू द सेम डॉक्यूमेंट एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टाइम्स टू मी बट स्टिल आई आज राजुल भैया वेर इज दैट एस आई पी डॉक्यूमेंट एंड देन ई से ओके एंड देन इन टेन मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स इफ इज फ्री आई गेट द लिंक अगेन अगेन आई लिंक क्लिंक आई डाउनलोड एंड मे बी आर नाट द टू डेज आई हैव द सेम क्वेश्चन भैया वेर इज एस आई पी लिंक एंड ई सेंड द लिंक अगेन and he is not doing these things to me but he is doing the same things to many he is very instrumental taking this content to the universities particularly you know interacting with university people interacting with aict people and his day is also starts with 5 o'clock in the morning and at least i know because many times i saw his response 2:30 early morning 3:30 early morning so i really have that doubt whether bhaiya slips or not <laughs> so but he must be sleeping <laughs> because because you know i'm sure that he is ensuring the health of his body so he must be sleeping so bhaiya deep deep gratitude to you just imagine you are passing out of iit and there are whole lot of liquidity jobs right but you focus is not getting into one of those multinational corporation job but to spend time in understanding and then sharing this understanding with other kumar bhaiya right any sort of technical clarity if i would like to have i always approach kumar bhaiya and he is always willing to take how many morning sessions has happened Nine. I mean, just imagine Sharmila was, Didi was here, Kumar Bhaiya, you know, were here. Both of them, they were here. Nine morning session. Every day morning, you are getting up at five thirty. I mean, not getting up. You are starting your session. Starting. To start your session at five thirty, I mean, some of us are finding very difficulty. How do I join at five thirty? But they, they are not joining, right? They are. conducting the session at 5:30 sharp which means possibly you have to get up at 4 4:30 and then there is no single day that i want to have a leave sign on my leave application continuously so thank you so much kumar bhaiya you with for your support your guidance another important thing right like we are here in this campus we are walking around in the campus uh you go to the washrooms and everywhere you find there is very neat things very clean things and you know why this this is because of bakka vanga atta vanga 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 if you see akka right you come to this campus you will find akka and her team continuously with the mop right they are mopping they are cleaning the moment you enter inside this hall you will find anna there outside standing anna and you know you will find that he is so welcoming like his greeting he is so welcoming i don't know how many of you have tested that gawa can you translate this things to them i don't know how many of you have tested that gawa but he makes sure that there are lots of gawa trees like few uh, gawa Gawa, right? What do you call Peru? Koya, Koya, yeah, Koya, right? So he every day he go and collect those Koya, and he give and some of us, you know, enjoy that Koya in the break sessions, right? In the break session. So see, what is the job? But what you are doing? Fulfilling relationship. This is classical examples, right? We can be at any place. and we can participate into that universal human order right so these are such a classical example thank you so much there's a big team behind them yeah maintenance team right the maintenance team continuously they are maintain you know doing this maintenance what is one thing is building right infrastructure the physical facility but another important thing is maintenance of the physical facility and increasing the durability of that physical facility 
this is also great contribution towards the universal human order so these are the people who are doing it each one of you must be knowing this gentleman now yes. and the another gentleman behind the camera do you know yes. the 100 percent attendance they have so standing behind the camera standing behind the camera listening to the same content again and again but if you look at their facial expression you will find that they are listening it and not only listening sometimes take out some time listen to their sharing every time they are listening to this content and they are also developing their understanding with this content so thank you so much right see this is this is santa didi come here no no you please you come here vanga 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 no no don't don't say anything please come here don't say anything please come here i want to say something about you <laughs> you know we are we are in our her hall the management hall look at this department of management is so generous they never say that this is not our workshop why you are occupying our washrooms why are you occupying our you are disturbing us not a single time but i guess whenever you people approaches management department management department is always generous to share their hall this is the generosity and this is the great contribution of management department into this now if you look at all these thing then we will find that from that formal way of conducting workshop slowly we are shifting towards conducting workshop on the basis of the relationship right this relationship look at each one of them are sharing their relationship that suman didi is there every day morning lunch and dinner she cook the food at her home right she cook the food at home she bring that food uh, sai didi is sitting here her husband has dropped sharmila didi to the airport this is all relationship right miru didi is there this lagima didi and um, deepa didi you know they had little issue the health issue they were taken to the hospital but miru didi you know made sure that all the treatments in the hospital will go smoothly everything i mean they got like vip treatment looking at them i i, I even told lagima didi uh, maybe sometimes if if i get this chance to come here like i would like to come here i mean such this is not possible you pay millions of rupees i tell you you will get a big hospital but you will not get this treatment right that feelings that feeling part uh, all this uh, srm team co team please come here or maybe you can stand at your place because the team is very big please stand you know continuously they are taking this efforts continuously they are taking this efforts to make srm is srm university as a holistic value based living center so i'm sure in this particular workshop you must have received lots of clarity on the value education and i'm sure you will experiment it into your core subject to make it as value based education and then gradually this institute will you know take steps towards value based living so deep gratitude towards each one of you and then all of you can stand up because all of you are helping each one of us right because of you are providing this opportunity to interact with you all right it's your willingness to come to the workshop it's your commitment it's your dedication is helping each one of us so thank you all of you a deep feeling of gratitude towards each one of you so if we go connecting then we find that eventually the gratitude towards all those who has taken efforts to realize within and the gratitude towards the whole existence okay so thank you respected resource persons and my co explorers perhaps we have missed one important thing the gratitude we owe to umesh sir also because he is 
the missing link over here whatever we got the tutorial sessions were done so nicely that whatever problems we had in the deep thought level he brought it down and special thanks and grateful to said umesh ji and the team members resource persons of icit thank you dipesh bhai yes i always tell that dipesh bhai is the pure observer so it's not like that icit observer yes and in spite of in spite of the problems with didi we got that continuous support in terms of just switch off your mobile don't switch off yourself that was not told but actually he meant that you keep yourself open aware and at the same time switch off your mobile so that you can be aware all the time thank you both of you one second M. Shanbagraman, sir, uh, from the day one onwards till today afternoon, he started. Um, uh, I mean, inquiring about uh, the whole team actually uh, by mentioning of two names. Number one is uh, Omesh, sir, and uh, Sumati, ma'am. He daily is asking about you. I mean, uh, both of you. And uh, whenever the UHP program is conducting over here. Uh, mr shiva and uh, prakash and uh, sir and ma'am everybody is are being excited physically whatever the technical session seminars conference or any kind of workshops is going on we have to search them where they are hiding themselves and where they are just um, i mean uh, in, in in which work they are accommodated if they are just approaching them shiva are you free come ma'am uh, that professor called us and um, this ma'am has called us we are engaging but the uhv is happening all our 360 days available like 24 bar 7 they are in the corridor they are all feeling happy thing is i guess they are feeling respect they are getting respect by the team so they are just feeling pride in this way correct ah shiva எல்லாருமே வந்து நீங்க ரொம்ப ஹாப்பியா சந்தோஷமா பண்றீங்க இல்லையா உங்களை யாருமே தேடவே வேண்டாம் நீங்க அங்கங்க அப்படி சிவன் மாதிரி உடனே அப்பியர் ஆயிடுவாங்க எப்பெல்லாம் சுப்ரஜாவை we are we are here only when you want night 12 o'clock or morning <laughs> early morning like so so this is really none of the resource person who are all conducting uh, kind of uh, uh, tier one uh, technical session also never ever earned such a reciprocation this is what we gain from you all and uh, i hope this will be continued forever by the way we are just getting maximized the productivity in a beautiful way thank you so much sir of learning so i wish to say with us uh, sunil sir by at all with uhv and value based education in the core subjects we can definitely realize it will be a temple of learning which has a broad base and a sharp end to see that realization is just one for everyone thank you so much all right thank you so so tomorrow you don't have to spend time in saying thank you to anyone now okay so all this thank you and gratitude program is completed here so tomorrow no, no thank you tomorrow no gratitude we can stick to the points well you must be seeing him many times in this campus during this workshop so he is a student right tambi is a young faculty right so these are basically an evidences that how we can addition of the human age right the senior faculty have transferred to the young faculty young faculty is ready and willing to take it forward and the students are also joining it joining the whole mission of a harmonious society okay. so thank you tamil thank you